Eugene Pascal Nabwana is my name. I'm a resident magistrate at Mpeketoni. I have been privileged and I continue being privileged working with the Kiunga Youth Bunge Initiative uh, who have been running a program in Lamu on access to justice funded by uh, under the PLEAD project funded by the European Union, UNDP, UNDOC and other partners. Um, basically on access to justice. Lamu County is an expansive county that is sparsely populated with a population that is mostly underprivileged and uh, it is this population that uh, find court processes and the court systems as being too technical and very expensive for them to go through. Article 48 of our Constitution, um, Article 48 of our Constitution guarantees each Kenyan access to justice. For the people of Lamu, that is, a, a, it is a multicultural society, we have diverse people who still hold on the, uh, to their traditional ways of life. We have found that uh, alternative justice systems are the best way to go. And I thank this program very sincerely because we have been able to find ways of uh, giving the people this information and asking them and urging them to form committees using the uh, local leaders and especially chiefs, assistant chiefs, village elders, Nyumbakumi elders, who are revered in society. Most importantly, and uh, specifically for the Orma and Somali community, who still hold on very firmly to their traditions. Also the Giriyama and the Pokomo, who have their own council of elders. Part of uh, Article 159 2C of the Constitution provides that traditional dispute resolution mechanisms are also applicable in uh, resolving disputes. And uh, I am glad that this program enhances and empowers them and reminds them that they have this power to be able to solve such cases. Uh, a particular example I will look at of alternative justice resolution uh, mechanism was the common problem that we had in the year 2018-2019. It was at its peak. Pastoralists and farmers were at each other's throats because most of the time uh, pastoralists will uh, come with their cows all the way from no the northern and eastern parts of Kenya down towards this side and uh, some of the community members within Lamu West are predominantly farmers. Uh, cattle would uh, uh, ingress into their farms and uh, uh, spoil their crops and there was a lot of bad blood you will find farmers retaliating by cutting the animals, you will find the herders retaliating by injuring farmers and fighting. And uh, the worst bit of it was that uh, cases brought whereby uh, cattle had trespassed into someone's farm, the law provided that uh, 500 shillings would be the, the fine. And uh, this uh, uh, created an hour of injustice within the court system. Through Kyunga Youth Bunge, we, able to reach out, we were able to reach out to the communities and urge them to be able to resolve and have committees that will sit down, assess the damage, if any, a committee of elders who are respectable to both the, uh, the livestock keepers and uh, both the farmers or those two communities. And in the year 2019 and 2020, we had zero cases of such instances. At present, we are now and under the able leadership of our resident judge, Justice uh, Arnia Kundi, who sits at Malindi, and who has been very passionate about uh, alternative justice system, we now have a register of all cases that we are sending back to the community, to the elders to be able to resolve, which are basically misdemeanors, not punishable by more than three years. It is helping to reduce our backlog. It is helping the community realize that uh, um, problems are to be solved 
and uh, rather than use courts as a means of uh, trying to find a solution, and they're able to get a win-win uh, solution. So towards this end, I'm very thankful, and I continue thanking Kyunga Youth Bunge, PLEAD Project, UNODC, UNDP, European Union. I will sincerely pray that uh, Lamu County, uh, Tana River County, Kilifi County being pilot projects, that they continue funding this project so that at the end of it all, they will be able to realize a 50% reduction of uh, backlog in courts because most of the cases within, and especially in Peketoni law court, are uh, misdemeanors. If we are able to reduce that, then it will leave us with, uh, it will leave the courts with uh, uh, only felonies as the cases with which the courts can deal with, and it will also help us continue to dispense justice to the people of Kenya. Thank you.